Hello friends and welcome back to another tips and tricks video and in this one we are going to learn how to you know toggle a menu with JavaScript and also how to click outside of it to close it so imagine this is the menu button this is our menu container and uh, basically by adding this hide class it will appear so at first it is hidden and I have a hide class that says display none that's it and some styles just to make things look a bit better so all I have to want I, I all we want to do is grab our menu button first and we're gonna use document that query selector and call that by menu dash btn Okay, another one for the menu container or the menu itself, it is called menu right here. So this is the button and this is the container. So this one, the first one is quite easy. Of course, uh, many people don't, uh, many people know this and all we have to do is say on the menu button, add event listener. So listen for a, an event, a click event. In fact, on the menu button, and then all you have to do really go to the menu and go to the classlets and then toggle it. So basically on and off that hide class, that's it. So that'll do the job for hiding and unhiding that. Now the, the thing is we want to be able to click outside when we click uh, outside when close this menu, right? So maybe if you scroll and this is not available anymore for some reason or just make it more convenient for the user we want to say basically click anywhere except this right so we're going to say document that, that i'm sorry add event listener you can use window as well and again we're going to listen for a click and we're going to pass the e um, argument or the event argument because we are going to grab it and use it to see where the user is clicking. So if I, I'm sorry, if I console.log that E, of course, it's going to tell us where a bunch of, you know, information, but we want the target for it. We just want to see where is the user really clicking. And we can see I'm clicking on the body. I'm clicking on the button ID. I'm clicking on the menu. Now, the problem with this is that we can't really say, for example, if the target is not menu, then close it. Because when I click on the items, it gives me the item, but the not menu itself. And then again, yes, you can say like go to the parent node and click that, uh, check that one as well. Well, I found a rather easier way. I mean, by searching, I didn't come up with it, of course just searching on the internet and I found it because there are a lot of confusing ones and none of them target this toggle button because you know not only that you want to close it when you click outside you want to be used to toggle button because this one is also outside so you want to say not only outside but also this one so let's do it we are going to say if that you know we don't again we don't want to do just one thing we want to grab this container and everything within it so we're going to say if the menu itself contains whatever we click on it okay so whatever we click is contained in that menu then add the class menu right now this is of course this is not what we want we want to say the otherwise right we want to say if we are clicking on the menu or its children right that's basically what it means if we are not clicking on those this is the not then hide the menu of course this is not going to work because again this is outside so we have to exclude that one as well and that's i think that's you know that one already we just have to say and the target the e dot target it is not our menu button that's it then add the class so basically we do know that if if statements with and 
you know condition in the middle it has to evaluate to true on both sides so if we click on this one it actually only evaluates one side to true and this is going to be false because we're clicking on it that's why the menu you know this one triggers right however when we are here so again when we click on the button only one side and it works fine when when we are outside of our container if we are inside nothing's going to happen right so these links probably go somewhere but if we are outside clicking bam so it evaluates this one to true evaluates this one to true therefore adding the height class and that's it really this i had to find i had to look around for an hour just for this simple piece of code because again i have a for example i have a button and i just want to use both of them so open close open close open close that's it really and this is it with vanilla javascript yes you can get this with jquery and with other uh, frameworks you can get it a lot easier but i just wanted to use J uh, vanilla javascript i hope this is helpful guys i hope these videos are helpful and uh, i'm slowly just learning how to make videos and how to get into this YouTube thing. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll catch you at the next one. Bye-bye.